USA, 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 you. Okay, anyways, uh, I read this online just now. I wanted to uh, read it for you guys. This was pretty good. Uh, Illinois City becomes first in U.S. to pay reparations to black families. Okay, this city in Illinois, Evanston. Uh, Eviston is initiating a program that will give 16 black families in Eviston $25,000 each in funds to use for the purpose of buying or improving homes as well as mortgage assistance. Uh, the Eviston City Council voted money to adopt a resolution that will allow it to become the first city in the United States to implement a program to fund reparations for its black residents, approving plans to budget $400,000 for the program. It passed eight to one. Okay, so um, they're giving money to people that are black for reparations for something that they were not a part of. Neither were their parents or their grandparents or their great-grandparents. Quote, I think this is a step is going to pull all of America forward. Um, no, 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 no. This step does not pull all of America forward. No, no. This step actually doesn't even pull the people that you're giving the money to forward. No, no. You know, it's that old saying, uh, you don't give fish to a hungry man, you teach him how to fish. So when you give people free shit, it does not uplift them. It does not pull them forward it does not push them in the right direction all it shows them is that with being fucking lazy and not doing anything with your life that you can get free shit and it's okay it's okay to have your hand out and say i'm black give me free shit honky that's all it says it all it does is make black people look weak it's all it does you know what every race in the country, much less the world, but let's just keep it in America. Every race in the country, you know what they do when they need to upgrade their roof, right? And I guess your roof doesn't last forever because we, we all know mine not doesn't. You know what they do? They pay for it. Yeah, they pay for the roof. Uh, personally, I think home ownership is a fucking scam in a lot of instances, but whatever. If you want to paint your home, you pay for it. You don't ask the government to paint your home for you. It's not the government's responsibility to paint your home. It's not their responsibility to do your gardening, uh, to build a fence, uh, to fix your broken windows. It's not their responsibility. It's yours. It's your responsibility to do it. You got to do it yourself. You can't expect the government to do it for you. Now, it's the local government's job to pave the streets to where when you pull out of your house, when you go to work... We go to work to make sure the street is as in good a shape as it can be for you to drive the car that you paid for to work, to work the 8, 10, 12 hours, whatever hours you work. That's their job, not to take care of your personal property. So, well, gee, I wonder where they got this money from. Where did they get the money from, the $400,000 as a pilot program? To give to uh, 25, uh, 16 black families $25,000 each. Where did they get it from, guys? Guess what? Guess where they got it from? Well, I'll tell you where they got it from. Uh, taxes from uh, marijuana. Legal marijuana. Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? You're taking tax money from pot-smoking losers to go to other losers who don't want to work because they smoke pot. That's the way I see it. At the end of the day... No reparations. Nobody was a slave. Now, I do feel that when slavery ended, when they were supposed to get 40 acres in a mule, I think that every black person or family in the nation should have got the 40 acres in a mule. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, and that's it. You're not a slave. Nobody's a slave. Nobody forces you to do whatever you want. When you go out in the streets and loot and riot, and you're protesting over somebody that got killed by the police because they can't follow instructions and their their IQ is so low that they can't be a productive member of society and you know you're breaking into stores and quote taking back what's ours last time I checked uh, those those Air Jordans the, the, you're not owed those Air Jordans 
Last time I checked, uh, you were not owed a 65-inch uh, flat-screen television. Yeah, taking back what's ours. Okay, so so that Xbox was yours, right? That Xbox was yours. Okay. Do you see the uh, the screwed-up way of thinking here? Do you see where our nation is going? Do you see the rabbit hole of or the cesspool of filth that it's falling into? When you feel that you're owed... A, a pair of $200 shoes that were made by 10 year old Chinese children or Indonesian children and some godforsaken sweatshop and some godforsaken piece of rock. Does anybody see, is anybody out there see how lucky you are that you were born in this country? This is the greatest country on the face of the planet. And guess what guys? I know there was a shooting in Colorado. 10 people got killed. I know it's really bad. By the way, I see a white girl with a big ass. Kind of maybe oh she's going into the tanning salon you know what that means that means she's gonna get naked and tan her big butt i wonder if they have cameras in there eh, i don't know maybe the pervert in me oh that's not the greatest country in the world why is it only people in little shitty tiny european countries that have less than 10 million people they're the only ones that say that no it is not the best country shut the fuck up fucking uh, Deutsch boy. Okay, keep your fucking ass in your fucking Luxembourg fucking shithole with your fucking uh, enclave of fucking Muslims coming in, fucking uh, fucking you guys up. Okay. Wasn't there a what, what country was it where they? <laughs> what country was it where they had a bunch of Muslim refugees coming in, and all of a sudden now uh, you can't. You, they they had to they had to divide the pool where men can't swim with women. <laughs> Do you see what happens? Do you see what happens when you bring in a culture of people that is not willing to assimilate, but you're so stupid, you 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 just want to let them come in anyways? Do you, see, do you see the hypocrisy, guys? Do you see the dumb shit? Do you see the nonsense? Hey, you guys don't care.